How's it going my guys? And for Ed, give me give you another it's an episode with more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet on the Nintendo Switch for Walker Tour. So last time, because um we have an epic battle with uh Nimona and uh she just uh got us the um the, the way to this uh, whole city named Mezagoza and turns out because um there is um a, a lot to go over around here in this uh, whole city, so um let's just uh, get the step along the progress right now, um knowing what we need to be doing best. So also we take a look at our Pokemon. So yeah, so all six of our Pokemon are well healed and are ready to go. So we were supposed to go and find out where that uh, hair saloon is because we've been uh, going around to the city talking to several be be people over here. So what do you sell here? Uh, give it a churro, a smooth churro. Come on and have a bite. Okay, so we're looking at here is one of these uh, smooth churro options over here. So we got here it's a churro, the chocolate churro. The uh, cinnamon churro. Oh, okay. I love cinnamon. Cinnamon, cinnamon is one of my favorites. Cause uh, you know what? We're not gonna keep on shopping for everything. So you know what? I'm just gonna sneak uh, by you, and uh, I'm going to take off. So uh, goodbye, and farewell. Uh, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was uh, a terrible joke. You know what? It's fine, but um, it it gets kind of silly in my head. Now let's just figure out where to find this uh, hair saloon at. Okay, so. These uh, two are just uh, chatting and making friends, I see. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and check to see what else is around here in uh, Mezagoza. So uh, what do we got here? So welcome to uh, change the supplier. What can we assist with you with today? Okay, so this guy sells bottles, energy powder, everything. But dang, okay, well everything's are getting expensive. Okay, it's, it's all good. Pleasure doing business. Okay, now what's over here? Okay, so I can't go to that that uh, shop area. So th what is this kid doing? Oh, okay. So lucky this kid got a Nintendo Switch and uh, enjoying the time of his life playing Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. That's a good chill. There are three. There are three big cities here in uh, Paldia. One of them is where we are now, Metagoza. The town's a a city? So what's the difference between a town and a city anyway? It is of a size. Okay, well I'm pretty sure the dude just making that that problem up. So the map I have a nice. I love a, a Rotom phone. Okay, anything else going on in here? Okay, well we're, we're on top of the um the, the big landscape here. Okay, so I think this is where we go and find the hair saloon at. So let's figure out where that is. Okay, so um, I'm not going uh, to keep wasting money on shopping for clothes right now. Now I really want to to focus on finding the hair saloon. So where's that at? I don't see any. I don't see any swirl swirling around the tubes or anything. Okay, you know what? I can barely see where the hair saloon is. All right, well let's go check it out. So we go inside. Okay, and this is where the magic happens. So it's the same from uh, from Pokemon Sword and Shield. When you uh, go and check in with the hair saloon, you can go ahead and check this, see what kind of hairstyles you want. So bananas and mochi too. Uh, what can we uh, do for you today? Okay, so dang, we don't have that much money. Okay, you know what? We'll, we'll come back later. I I want to just uh, get on to the uh, school. Well, we're kind of broke at the moment. There's uh, nothing else that we can do in Metagoza. But uh, uh, we, could, we could just uh, get on right onto the school. But before we get right onto the school, I want to go ahead and take some more pictures. Because I know a whole lot of these uh, Pokemon fans are all, all around here can actually go ahead and take pictures now. So, I mean, they all are kind of enjoying this uh, brand new feature. So, actually, we go press on down. Go flip the camera just right up this. Okay, so we can go ahead and look down a little. And go make it our expression look. Okay, so we are going to say hello. Okay. Well, that, oh, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. I, I think we were supposed to press back. B and A. Okay, so you know what? <laughs> I, I like it. It's perfect. I kind of like in that pose there. Okay, so this is just about me taking a picture of this big old tower of what we saw. Because just to see how huge this uh, school is, is supposed to look and as it goes up. So, who are these kids? 
Don't you get it? If you join a team starter, you can have Charlotte's bright as anybody. Seriously, yo, what's with you? Don't you want to burn a bright with awesome friend like us? Not really. Look, uh, we got a quarter that we're supposed to fill up for new members, so just to sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Oh, uh, okay, well, let's uh, lend her a hand. Seems like she's in trouble. Huh? You want it? You want it in on this too? If you're here to sign up, but we'll get to you next. Uh, we nearly uh, got this uh, one in the bag. We're a team star, kid. We burn so bright that it's a hurt to look at us, uh, but uh, you knew that, right? Um, yeah, we catch the picture. So you know exactly who you're messing with, uh, and uh, you're still coming at us uh, with that attitude? You're a scary kid. If you join Team Starter, you'll be uh, looking down uh, from the top in no time. Hey, we are here to just uh, let something uh, like this slide. The honor uh, of our team are on the line, uh, so we got uh, no real choice uh, but do the battle, yeah? That's true, and you keep a watch on that little four eyes uh, over there. I'll make sure if it's a fresh face and nobody ends up a scene start. Okay, so we are challenging these uh, Team Star into a double battle. So we're challenged by Team Star Grunt. And she doesn't have a name. Okay, so what is that Pokemon? That looks weird. Oh, it's a Shrudel. Okay, so it's still gonna be single battle. So uh, let's uh, go for Water Gun. Go for Howard. Okay, and it go for Scratch, and that doesn't deal that much damage. Okay, we can keep our Water Gun in it. Okay, man, because my my quest lead is uh is getting super strong. Okay, it's not taking a lot of damage against all Pokemon. How come I'm the one seeing stars? Okay, and we steal 416 money for T Team Star Grunt. Urka, why did nobody like you so good at battle anyway? That's just not right. No way, he beat you. Does that mean that I gotta battle this kid that now since uh, I'm higher up Team Star rank? Pearl, Banu, what do you think you're doing? Uh, it's that the student console dweeb. She's a good reporter, so we uh, don't book it. I can't believe you ever, Ed. You don't have to go find a randos into the battle. You'll have all of the battles you'll ever need with me. That's uh, really not uh, what happened, or if it was those uh, Team Star Punk. Um. No, I, I don't think that happens. Wait, they uh, pick a fighter with you? Wow, I read uh, that uh, way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have uh, got the Team Star written all over your, for you for sure. I bet that you were trying to pressure people into signing up uh, again, weren't you? Uh, hi. Uh, we weren't uh, not doing that. Well, that explains it. At the head of the student console, stopping this type of nonsense uh, would normally be m my job. But this is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and Ultra rare gift to you. Okay, so we obtained the the Terra ball, the Terra orb. It's not no ordinary ball. Well, eventually this is something different. So the Terra orb is something I never actually heard about. So I not have uh, get any reviews or watching over videos. I mean, I saw one because in the um, in the trailers because we could actually go in and uh, use the um the, the Terra orb, which can be put in our key item pocket. So in orbit that holds it, it, we have the power to crystallize. When it is charged with energy, it can be used to call Pokemon to terrestrialize. Okay, that's super interesting. With this uh, Terra Orb, you can uh, terrestrialize uh, your Pokemon during battle. Let's see, after it terrestrializes, uh, I'm pretty sure your Questly will be a water type. Normally, uh, you uh, gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orb, but I put it. A good word for you. Now, time to give it a world. You'll learn to use it at faster in battle than if I just explain it to you. Wait, what? You want this uh, kid to practice that wailing on us uh, with this uh, terrible Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle me instead? 
Never mind, I'll take my chances with, with a new kid. Then take your place in the battle. Okay, a battle in the, it's a battle. Let's accept the challenge. Well, I'm pretty sure these uh, Team Star Grunt doesn't seem too bad. Seem like nice people, of course. So what we got going on? A Young Goose? Okay, so this guy just sent out a Young Goose. So this uh, game give us the uh, tutorial on how we go to terrestrialize him. So here in the uh, Peldy region, Pokemon can crystallize through a stream phenomenon. But the people call this a uh, terrestrialize him. Uh, you can uh, terrestrialize your Pokemon by selecting the uh, ter terrestrialize button in battle. When a Pokemon terrestrializes, uh, it types of changes uh, to it. its terror type. A uh, move of uh, the same type that adds this uh, terror type will become much more powerful than usual. So after terrestrializing a Pokemon once, you want to be able to terrestrialize the Pokemon again until you heal up at a Pokemon Center. So use this strategy wisely to see victory in battle. Okay, cool. So. Something that we get to, to learn a lot better about terrestrializing because it's definitely more focused on like you, you we had to go ahead and like accept that challenge. I mean we, we had to to take risk of learning how to to use this um this terror orb as our advantage to, to go and have each of Pokemon terrestrialize. So um let's go and try it on Howard. And we oh, actually yeah, so let's go to battle. So we go and press on R, so we get to, to press on the uh, the R to terrestrialize and go and select what option we want to go use. So I'm going to go and select Water Gun again. And then we go and power up with the, uh, the Terra Orb. Okay, well this is uh, a limit a lot more different than uh, Mega Evolution and what's it called? So it's Mega Evolution and Z move combined to this the, the same energy. Well, I bet if uh, the new Pokemon series comes out, then on maybe on Netflix. Well, maybe we, we might as well go see one of the shows. If um if Ash can go ahead and pull his uh, own way through just to go and use the um the Terra Orb. So your Pokemon burns so bright. Yeah, well maybe on the end of next season in case uh, on when um well I've been watching. On several of these uh, Pokemon Master Journey, what, because I hope they make another season for uh, for Ash to go learn Terrestrialize in the, in the new, well maybe in the next future. Night nice ever as you pull up a Terrestrialize and no problem. Moves of yours a Pokemon Terror type it will hit it even harder when it's a Terrestrializing, you know. Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terror type is totally different from its usual type. That's a difference that could open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at the Pokemon Center after every use by healing up your team bow. Well, uh, I'll be on uh, my merry way, but yeah. Uh, hasta la vista! Me too! Hasta la vista! So yeah, Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly ever show up at the class and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teacher don't know what to do with them from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just, uh, well, thanks. So yeah, see you around. Okay, so this kid is heading to the school. Ah, look at you, Ever Ed, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer like you. That the Eevee bag, though, love that fluff. Anyway, I seem like uh, the troubles have died down, so we better uh, book it up to school. Get ready to climb the, the worst staircase in the world. Okay, so let's see how long these stairs are. But damn, that's um, that's more than a lot of stairs. Okay, so we have to go to the other uh, school. So what's your next class? Uh, battle studies are out in the uh, schoolyard. Okay, good choice. Okay, the entrance hall. The entrance hall of the school is full of books and you are free to read as many as you like. It's a great place for any bookworm. Okay, so can we check at the, uh, the bookstore? Okay, well, apparently we can't go ahead and check out with um, the, the library or any, anything like that. Okay, so um, same, thing, it's, it's same uh, cafe from before. We, we can't go there. Uh, he never changes. Mr. Jagger, I just so. It's, it's just so. 
Okay, so... So what's going on here? Now, we're looking at these uh, people that are having a, a good time of their lives. So I could use a rest that uh, wants to stop by. Okay, well that's more of what they had to say. Now, I want to keep on exploring Meza Goza some more. Because I know because um, there's like ton of these uh, people that we have um, not recently talked to. So none other than this guy. So that staircase of goodness. The staircase in front of the school is famous for being uh, torturously along. I certainly don't envy uh, the students who had to climb it regularly. Okay, so that's no good. We're out of mail. Okay, well that's not a good joke. Okay, so we can't go talk to you. So what these two had to say is you sure want to sleep. If you come across a sleeping wild Pokemon, that's a great chance to get them to drop on it. They're so sweet that, and when they're asleep. Whenever I see sleeping Pokemon, I can't stop snapping photos of them. Okay, well, it's similar to me because uh, when we uh, talk to these people, they don't actually quite give you anything useful because not other than uh, potions or a Pokeball or anything like that. I mean, they don't quite actually give you something good. So I'll talk to these kids. Yeah, watch me. I'm gonna win. Let's play hide and seek. Okay, so um, I don't think we have uh, talked to these two already. Uh, okay, so now these two are chilling, and this uh, lady had nothing to say. Just um, just pulling up her uh, Rotom phone. Okay, so let's just check over here. Okay, so um, let's just see what these two saying. I'm utterly stuck. Ah, uh, so satisfying. Okay, so what's this over here? Oh, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Sorry, I pressed the wrong button. I, I accidentally just slipped my um, finger just to press the R button to send up my uh, Howard. So, uh, hello, hello, and welcome to Bratos. Oh, okay, so let's, what's uh, fresh out the menu? Okay, so everything is... Cost less expensive, so um, I reckon that we move out of here. Okay, now what's this over here? Okay, so this is the, the goal for Broke Grill. Okay, well, we kind of seen this this uh, restaurant already. Alright, so let's uh, move out of here. And also, wait a minute, so we got a vending machine. So, what else can we get in this vending machine? Uh, what kind of drink uh, do you want? Okay, so we got fresh water, soda pop, lemonade. Uh, let's get some lemonade. Okay, so do you want to pay with that cash or with LP? Uh, let's just, uh, well, you know what? We, we can just pay with that LP. Well, let's just, uh, so we can just use LP. So we only got 706. Okay, so you, you obtain a can of lemonade. And we just uh, put that in the medicine pocket. Okay, sweet. Okay, so it says a very sweet and a refreshing drink. It can be used to restore 70 HP to a Pokemon. So you know what, let's buy one more. Yes, uh, that's... Wait a minute, what? Oh, no, 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 not the LP. Okay, you know what? Okay, well, that's fine. We're, we're gonna have to skip everything. Never mind, never mind. I'm just um, blowing up all of my LP. That was uh, quite a mistake, actually. Yeah, that was gonna be my fault. I, I wanted... I, I don't want to to blow all of my LP. So uh, let's find a Pokemon Center. Okay, uh, let's talk to you. What do you sell? Feels so good uh, on a parched throat. Okay, would you like some delicious refreshing ice cream? Oh wait, so this guy sells ice cream. Alright, well I have no interest in ice cream right now. I want to find a Pokemon Center and it's all the way down. Oh, actually, let's pick up that uh, Pokeball first. Okay, so uh, now we just uh, pick up one of his uh, Pokedolls. Which may seem quite handy. And then we can go ahead and move up to the roof. But then that is some um, some sick mechanic we're looking at here. Because we can actually move up to the roof. Okay. But wait a minute. Now, there's something up in the roof which I wanted to, to investigate. Now, now, I couldn't tell if I'm capable of making that jump. 
Um, okay then. Well, you know what? That felt kind of risky, but, uh, I'm not... Uh, okay, well, why can I not climb upward? Well, actually, I think we can do this. We could use this. So, we can go and select this. Okay, so we can fly over here. So, yeah, let's fly to that spot. I want to go fly back to the, uh, Pokemon Center. Okay, so we can actually work places to, uh, to Pokemon Center, That's, which is, uh, kind of cool. So, I want to go and enchant material for my LP. But you know what, I don't think we will be needing those, uh, Gimme Gold's coins right now, so that can be worth selling. So, let's go sell at least seven. And we can go and sell for this, uh, Tarantula Freds. Okay, we could just sell at least one. And how how do we do this? Okay, I'm trying to figure out which button. I mean, how do we sell? Okay, do you want to just select all the items you uh, select so far? But I don't plan on doing that. Okay, so what what else do we got? So we got here is a Bozel fur. Okay, what button is it? Oh, oh, I see now. So we can go ahead and press plus to exchange LP. So let's go make some trade right now, right here, right now. Okay, well, that's uh, more than a lot that we can fully experience. Because it's a seems like to me because uh, we wasted, like, more about the five, five of the LP for the, the Gimme Gold coin. And keeping eight so far. What we got here is uh, several of these materials. So let's go ahead and sell everything. Everything that we can manage here. So we'll sell at least three. Okay, so we select with A. Select two. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go and select five of the Whooper Slime. That's more than a lot I could sell. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm not, I'm not done yet. I'm not done. Okay, so I'm gonna keep two. And I wanna keep getting more. Okay, I think that's everything. So now we can go ahead and exchange everything. So let's go make some trade. So we need to keep getting all of this LP back up in stock. So uh, that's more than a lot that we can manage. So we got here is uh, the one that's called Roast Dust. So we only have seven for each. But we got here is one of this uh, Man Cave first. I mean, let's go ahead and sell one of those. Okay, so you know what? I think we were supposed to go and keep five. But wait a minute, no, I don't want to make a trade yet. But why can I not move out of that? Okay, fine, forget it, let's just trade. So we can just uh, trade and be done with it. Simple as that. Alright, I, I think we're all done here. So let's look at our Pokemon, are we good? Yeah, so we're all fully healed. Alright, so uh, we, we're just going to have to keep that up. Well, I just couldn't tell if I'm capable of reaching up high up to the uh, roof. Okay, well, that felt kind of risky, but um, it, it had to be like a better solution than, than just climbing up the roof. Well, it's funny actually, because uh, one of your uh, your avatars can go ahead and and climb up to the, uh, to the roof. I mean, whichever stoop to the level. I mean, we could just... Find like uh, another route to, to to climb up the um, the roof, but uh, there's more to it than just uh, finding a better strategy to to climb up the roof. Well, wait a minute. Now, there's this this uh, ladder we we can climb up. Okay, so let's go up to the, this ladder. So going up to this ladder. So down there because there's a Pokeball. So we got here the one called Zents, and. How come I can't 
Oh, okay, you know what? I think I can. So we get in here, it's the one that's called Ice Fang. Okay, so that can be used against Ice type Pokemon. Okay, very, very well handy. Okay, so let's uh, just try not to slip and fall. Try not to flip and fall. Okay, so you know what? We can go ahead and flop back down the roof and not take any injury. But as you know, you guys, I do believe that's going to have to do it. So um, next time on Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, we are going to continue on moving upward to these uh, staircase because we got it's uh, several more to do here. But uh, just as uh, you know what, uh, I don't think we have a talk to this kid already. Well, you know what? We're not going to focus on that. We could just um end this, uh, this episode just right about here. So uh, thank you guys so much for taking the time to tune in and watching this episode. So if you like the series and want to see more of Pokemon or Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, be sure to leave an advertiser like, share the video, and subscribe. If you do subscribe, ring the notification bell so that you, you'll be still up there notified when we're some awesome videos happen on the way. So uh, that's going to be all it for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We will be picking up more on the next one. So take care, guys, and hope to talk to you on the next video.